Hey guys, it's Josh with Scott Scuba. Uh, thank you for watching our latest video. Uh, this is video one of a rebreather series. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about rebreathers, what they do, how they work, uh, different things like that. So for our first video today, we're going to kind of take it down to the most simplest form so you guys can understand what a rebreather actually does and kind of how it works. Uh, so I do have my Optima sitting here, uh, just as kind of a, a model because it's very pretty and I like it a lot. Um, but we're not going to be going over parts and pieces of it very much today. Uh, but like I said, we are going to take this down to its most simplest form. Uh, so a couple of things to begin with, uh, and then I'm going to do a little demonstration with my other model that we have. Uh, a rebreather there are two different types. There are closed circuit uh, and there are semi-closed circuit. So we're gonna be talking about closed circuit rebreathers. And what they do is they actually recycle the gas that you're breathing. And it sounds pretty simple, uh, and it's a pretty simple concept once you kind of understand how it works. Um, but to do that, there are a lot of parts and pieces and a lot of things that, that you need to make this unit function properly. So first couple things we're going to talk about are the two different types of gases that are on every rebreather. And the first one is oxygen, and this is 100% O2. And what it does is it brings your partial pressures back up. Um, more, more on that in a minute. Um, but the other gas that we have is called diluent or dill. And diluent can be a mixture of pretty much anything from regular air uh, to enriched air to trimix depending on the depth and the application that you're going to be diving. Uh, so how it works and how it recycles the air that we're breathing. Um, Jenny, if you wanna come up and we're gonna kind of explain this. Uh, so like I said, this is rebreathers in the most simple form. So don't you, try this at home, kitties. If you think about, if you take a bag and put it over your head, and don't don't actually do this. Um, this is for demonstration purposes only. We're gonna move you up to the table. All right. Now, if this bag was sealed around her head and she kept breathing in and out and in and out, she's gonna be breathing the same air over and over again. You can do that for a while, but eventually. Uh, you are going to breathe the oxygen content, your, your body's going to metabolize that oxygen, and you're going to breathe that down until it no longer supports life. Uh, so that's kind of like what a rebreather does. It allows you to breathe the same air over and over and over again. But where the rebreather differs from this bag is it has sensors in there. So whenever our oxygen content drops, it actually injects pure O2 into the system, right? So if Jenny's breathing out of this bag and her sensor goes off and says, hey, the oxygen content's too low. Well, guess what? We add a little bit of oxygen, all right? It'll bring the content back up. Now we all know from our first day of open water class that as we descend down through the water column, uh, air actually compresses, right? Because this is a closed system, we would have to add other gas. That's what our diluent's for. It is to add air into the loop. So, as Jenny's descending down the water column, this bag's gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter, just like <laughs> the air compresses in our BCD. So we would have to add a little bit of diluent. That was pretty loud. Uh, we also use our diluent to inflate our wing on our rebreather. So another thing that the rebreather does that the bag, the simple bag does not, is it scrubs out the CO2, right? So part of one of the byproducts of us breathing is we expel CO2. And we know that CO2 is not good for us and it doesn't help us in any way. So it actually has a, a scrubber and there are a couple different types. Not gonna get into that today, that'll be in a later video. Uh, but the air that we breathe actually goes through this loop and it goes behind our head and it forces it through that scrubber, which scrubs the CO2 out of our breath. And then it goes out the other side and it comes out as perfect air. It mixes to whatever mix we want. Uh, it's like a little nitrox mixing station on our back. So, uh, yeah, for our first video, the basics of it, uh, I hope that made sense with the bag. Like I said, you think about it, you just keep recycling that air 
over and over and over again until finally your little alarm goes off, ding, O2 content's too low, so we add a little bit, right? Um, so that's gonna be our, our first basic, simple rebreather video. Uh, we are gonna do quite a few more on specifically the Optima, uh, different functions and, and features of that, as well as some generalized rebreather videos as well. So um, I hope everyone liked our, our video today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, please share this on Facebook and anywhere else you'd like to. Uh, and if you guys have anything else in particular that you want to see, please send us uh, an email, give us a call, drop us a line on Facebook, um, and let us know. All right, guys.